by manual pelvic examination and rectal vaginal examination by Carla Cueva. BPE and rectal vaginal exam checks for pelvic organs and is recommended for women who have symptoms of pelvic pain and unusual bleeding. A BPE guide for medical students has the mnemonics I-quad or E-quad that checks for the introitus, cervix, uterus, adnexa, and discharges. For the materials, we will need the gloves, the lubricant, and the pelvic dummy. May hapon ma'am, ako si Carla Cuenca, niya karun ma'am mag-examin ta sa imuhang kinataw na pit. Bali, ang akong mga katudlo ma'am, isulong na po sa ilaw niya ako. Ikapipa po na po tanaw, kung naabay mga mababuba, may mga bukod, kung naabay mga dugo or mga discharges. Kung niya ma'am, naasang tayo itawag na rectovaginal exam na sulod na sana po siya sa imuhang sampot ang sa katudlo. So, ang pumuntap niya siya gamay ma'am, pero panag-iirasan siya lugay niya, dali lang mo ma'am. Okay na di mo ma'am. Place her in a dorsal lithotomy position and observe a septic technique. First off, inspect the mons pubis, labia mahora, and minora for any skin lesions and swelling. Observe the introitus and take note if the hymen is intact, imperforate, or open and whether the perineum gapes or remains closed in the lithotomy position. Inspect the perianal area for evidence of hemorrhoids, sphincter injury, warts, and other lesions. After, inspect the urethra and its length by milking it with the middle finger and check for discharges. Next, check the Bartholin's gland by palpating the area of the posterior third of the labia mahora by placing the index finger inside the introitus and the thumb outside the labium in an 8 o'clock and 4 o'clock position. Evaluate for pelvic organ prolapse by asking the patient to cuff. Put the lubricant in the middle and index finger and separate the labia minora using the second and fourth fingers and introduce the well-lubricated finger with the dominant hand into the vagina, directing them posteriorly. The thumb should be pointing up or folded under to minimize discomfort. Using the non-dominant hand, gently press downward the intra-abdominal area, sweeping the pelvic structures towards the palpating vaginal fingers. Then evaluate for cervical position, architecture, consistency, tenderness, especially the mobility of the cervix. Next, elevate the uterus by pressing on the cervix and delivering the uterus to the abdominal hand. Then evaluate for uterine position, architecture, size, shape, symmetry, tumor, and others. Evaluate the adnexal regions by placing the vaginal fingers in the left lateral fornix and the abdominal hand placed just medial to the anterior superior iliac spine. The two hands are brought together as close as possible with a sliding motion towards the area of the anterior superior iliac spine to the introitus. The fingers are swept downward allowing for the adnexa to be palpated between them. Before proceeding, test the strength of the perineum by pressing downward and asking the patient to bear down. For the rectal vaginal exam, withdraw the middle finger from the vagina and insert it into the anal canal with the index finger remaining in its place. Evaluate for the tone of the external sphincter muscle by asking the patient to strain down. Evaluate for tenderness, tumor, irregularities, fixation, and mobility of the rectal vaginal septum and rectum. Remove both fingers and check for gross blood, purulent material, and any changes in the color and consistency of the vaginal discharge and stool. Thanks for watching!